a caller. Caller, would you like to introduce yourself? Ashley, like, pass that shit out at home. <laughs> Mute That's yourself. A- I'm sorry. Uh, what? Actually, actually, I was calling to say something similar to what Cannon just spoke about as far as the way that we're conditioning very, very young children around consent. Um, and I didn't get to see the video, but I did hear you all describe a situation where, you know, two adults, you know, were hanging out, I guess, and the gentleman wanted sex, and um, apparently the young lady, I guess, did not want to have sex with him, and so he threatened to leave. And to kind of look at that as a manipulation, but also to understand, um, I guess, Darwin was speaking about, you know, what choices women are making around the kinds of men. But the, the conditioning for this type of behavior happens so early. And I'm glad you guys talked about, like, consent with your daughter and how you allow her to make some of those choices. Because we see it in something as simple as, like, a grandparent having a piece of candy and the child asking for a piece of candy or a piece of cake or something, something to eat, some water, and them saying, come and give me a kiss. And you saying, oh, no, I don't. I, and the child shying away from the kiss and them saying, well, I'm going to keep my candy. And then the little kid goes, okay, right, and they give the end. And so we see that type of behavior as really harm, harmless behavior. It's a kind of transactional thing, like you have to give me something of yours in order, you know, kind of pay for whatever this thing is, be it affection, be it, you know, our interaction, be it time, right? Like, you owe me something in that. And I saw that happen with my daughter where, you know, I might be messing with her, playing with her, and she'll go stop, and I'll be like, oh, you think about fine, and I'm not playing with you. And she said, okay. And so I had to recognize that, okay, she would be willing to say, all right, I'll do something I don't really want to do in order to continue, like, a fun time, like something that she's enjoying, right? And I had to teach her, like, you know, even if it's with me, if you want to say no, then don't say okay. Say no, right? But I had to recognize that that's something that I was doing because I was conditioned, and it had nothing to do with sex. It had nothing to do with me doing anything appropriate and inappropriate to the child. It just simply had to do with someone kind of giving in when they're pressed around, especially a transaction that has to do with their body or their personal space. So I want to say with boys and girls, we teach them that. It just so happens that we teach the boys that they're going in and that they're looking to receive something from the transaction, and we teach the young ladies that, they're, that there's something to be given away. And so both people feel like they lose. Like the young lady feels like she loses if she goes, if she says, well, no, I don't, you know, I actually, I don't want to do that. Because then she loses that time, she loses that date, she loses, you know, whatever that thing is, because now she isn't participating in the transaction anymore. And just as the young man feels like he loses when he comes away with it without having had sex with her, without having touched her, without having had access to something that was a little bit more than, you know, maybe what um, they went into to do. So because we have, you know, people set up growing up thinking that we have these transactions as normalized in relationships and that, you know, it's okay to give, and, you know, in that space if you're pressured a little bit, um, then we do set ourselves up with some kind of vulnerability. Thank you, Dr. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, stay tuned in. Oh, she hung up. All right. Yeah, I, I love that point. And that's why I wanted mm-hmm. to, I, I think we can all agree that's manipulation, right? But Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's so important to talk to the ladies right now, like the ladies, like, what are we going to do in those situations? And why are we so pliable to this type of behavior? That's what scares me. Because here's the thing, like, I agree with you, Cannon, like, we have to start teaching men um, and young boys differently, right? And we can't just excuse it. We always have this attitude that's like, boys will be boys. But we have to start attacking that, you know, um, head on. Um, But given the circumstances now um, and and forever, I think women should always know that their no and what they want when it comes to that is very important and that we decide. And I think I think a safety measure would be to like I learned when I was 18 years old, like, if I'm going to be around a guy, I have to know beforehand what I'm going to do. Because we ain't silly. Boys as young as 12 or 11, if they want it, if they can be around a girl, they might want to kiss, they might want something, you know? And so 
This is just something that we know. And so it, and it, there's nothing wrong with a man or a young boy wanting that, right? That's a part of sexual nature, right? And we're sexual beings. But I think we have to make sure that we're instilling in girls, like, let your no be no and um, stand firm on it. Like, we got to teach them that, you know, so that they recognize behavior like that and make sure that they don't continue to be around that guy. Like, Darren, you were mentioning how, like, what if it happened more than once? It's like, so like a guy still shouldn't be behaving like that. You know what I mean? And so the, I think the girl, like, I, I don't know if a guy ever, if he, he had, he would have one time to behave like that with me. <laughs> well, no, no, no. My, po my point wasn't that it was okay for him to behave like that. My point is if he behaves like that, let him hit the door. Th this is the thing. Like I, 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 I agree with everything everybody's saying, but in that situation right there, how clear can it be? For him to just leave out the door and, and like y'all, y'all rebuttal was well, maybe he just wanted to keep him happy. Yeah, that's what we need to teach our daughters. It's not about keep make yourself happy first, then make the other person happy. If you're not happy with what you're about to do, then don't care about him being happy. Let him leave out the door. So you can you you can only control what you do, right? So what he did was what he wanted to do. He wanted to throw a tantrum and leave. Bye. What do you what do you want to do now? You want to let him leave or you want to let him stay to make him happy? Like, like it's it's all about choices. And I'm not about to keep, I can't keep dissolving all the women's bad choices because that would be a bad, that, that's a bad choice if she's to let him stay. That's but a the bad thing choice. is, see, but the problem is, I, think, did, I that, think that we have a lack of understanding of what manipulation means, right? Well, well, How right can there. you sit and be like, well, something is manipulation. It's manipulation because you're doing something to control that person into doing something. Yeah, of course, if somebody knows, if somebody's lucid and aware enough to be in the middle of something and know that they're being manipulated, then is it really manipulation? No, right? Well, that's that's why it's boys, if that right there gets you some coochie, if that right there, that's why men do, people do what they do that works. If that I'm not works, disagreeing. You know, but it really doesn't, though, because can you really tell me that there are no women that are throwing themselves at a man like that? There ain't no women out here trying to drop it up. He just has to go get this girl that really don't want to have sex with him. Men what I'm choose saying, who they want to have yeah, sex with. Y'all say I'm, men what go... I'm, what if I'm we saying think y'all the gatekeepers to sex and we try to do everything we can to women get are it, not. Yeah, that obviously has exactly. been working for him. That has what been I'm working saying for him. is, what, what, I'm, what I'm saying He is, wouldn't keep doing it. If it didn't work for him, what like, do you mean? But, what kind of, what's, what's the quality of sex she gonna get? She gonna be a lump on the log, like but yeah. But, but it, but it goes won't. back to That's what him. I say. I mean, Listen, no, we have to address the entire situation. We always, this is what we're not gonna do. We're not going to sit here and pretend like we have not always put the onus for this, which is why women are considered the gatekeepers and all that other stuff for what happens as far as sexual activity, men's bad behavior, do all of these things to try to block the bad possible behavior of men. We always do that. And I'm not saying that you that not to talk to women and say this is manip of course, that's what we're doing. We're having a conversation. We're saying this is what manipulation looks like. This is what coercion looks like. This is what somebody's trying to get you to do something that you don't want to do. We're having that conversation. I don't see why you can't do that. And then why you can't also we teach our boys and raise our boys like this is inappropriate behavior. This is not how you treat other human beings. Like this is not okay. This is not just a game where it's just par for the course. Like, let me see if I'm gonna win. Like, that's the whole problem. And that's why when it goes back to all of these conversations, which I I do. that's why i hate this when we have these conversations about especially when the men want to talk about body counts and, and women doing this and they mileage and they worn out and ran through and all this other stuff and they doing shit like this like my whole point is you sitting up here purposely trying to go out of your way to do everything you could figure out how to do to get somebody in the bed and then you turn around and look at them and be like ha ha you fell for it. and it's this whole ridiculous cycle you, you can't talk to one without talking to the other it requires both that's all that i'm saying i'm not saying that it absolves women of anything because you will you will have plenty of women who will be like get his <laughs> dude if you don't bad but then like i said you will also have some that that works on just like i'm i'm a salesperson i am a salesperson there are sales techniques sales taxes they work on some people some people they don't work on some people i could just put Put something in, in somebody's hand, and guess what that does psychologically? Creates a sense of ownership, and that person will buy it. Some people, that shit don't work on. But that does not mean that the people that it that, that it works for, it don't work. 
that's that's what i'm saying that's why it's called manipulation like that's why you're trying to do it because you're trying to get the people that's going to fall for the people who are naive the, the people who are people pleasers the people who that who, who that is going to register in all that's fine and dandy right all that's fine and dandy but this is my thing if he did all of that right or whatever the case may be the the, the, manip, the manipulation or whatever right so all he was up front with his intentions at, at that moment. She should have known. And if we teach our daughters, I, I, we go teach our, our boys too. But we're talking about the, the woman right now that the one's getting manipulated and getting the core horse to doing some things that she don't want to do. Right. We teach our daughters what type of actions and how to treat themselves, how to love themselves. She would know in the door, like, oh, all he wanted sex. Now she has a choice. Am, am I going to give it to him or no? Because but now what's going to happen is now, what, what's got manipulation just don't stop there. Right. So he could be the type of dude that's going to be like, okay, I'll give her 10 dates. I don't care. I'm going to be boning this chick anyways. So I'm going to give her 10 dates. I'm going to be nice and understanding and spend quality time with her and this and that. So it really doesn't, like, like we. it's still it's still about teaching our daughters how to love themselves and to doing what they want to do. It's not all about, oh, stop the men from manip- so, manipulating. That's, okay, that's, okay, that's not about to happen. Point I didn't say that it wasn't all about. It sounded like you don't want to have the conversation at all. I was going to say, yeah, yeah it's not okay. okay. no, 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 I've, I've had conversations with my son about things and how to treat a woman and making them happy and stuff. So, so that's not go there. <laughs> well, we talking.